idea was that we show uh, different aspects of the science of, of, of soap bubbles and the foams and that we let people come and play with it. So it's an exhibition where you can get your hands not dirty but you can get them clean. And welcome to the opening of our summer show, Bubble. I think it's fair to say, looking around me, that uh, everyone, adults and children, have, have a natural fascination for bubbles. Uh, and that's really what, it, what this, this show sets out to explore. Why are bubbles round? Um, you know, why does champagne fizz? These are the kind of fundamental questions that the science gallery team likes to investigate. The idea is, we all know that soap bubbles have very nice colours and uh, we want to transform these colours into sand. The colours um, indicate the thickness of the soap films. And when you blow a bubble, the liquid drains out of the bubble because you have gravity acting. So therefore the thickness of the soap films will change all the time, therefore the interference colours will change all the time. ice uh, melts, it sets free CO2 and CO2 is much heavier than air so it stays on the bottom of the cube and if you blow in um, bubbles that are mainly air they will stay on top of the CO2 and float basically within the cube. bubble or salt membrane is a wonderful optical uh, device because uh, the spherical shape allows for a lensing effect but also the thickness of the bubble skin, skin is very close uh, to the visible light wavelengths so it can also act as a prism both for visible light and highly coherent laser light. There's a huge variation in bubbles as I, as I worked with them. I realize you have sort of different shapes, structures, colors, bubbles that have burst, bubbles about to burst, the way they join together. So what you have then is something which we call a two-dimensional foam. So you can see the geometry very nicely. And what you see in specifically is that you always have three lines meeting in three lines meeting in one point. So though the whole thing looks very messy, locally it's very ordered. Hi, um, this is the model of the Beijing Olympics um, Aquatic Center. And um, this is based on the rear field structure. The rear field structure is basically an advancement on Lord Kelvin's uh, structure that for um, basically to minimize the cell perimeter for each cell in a packing system. There's loads of um, sort of youthful enthusiasm and energy around the place. Yeah, there's people doing experiments. Yeah, it's great. Bubbles, pretty bubbles in the air. They fly so high, they nearly reach the sky. Then, like my dreams, they fade.